About three years ago, I created a LastPass account and I used it to manage passwords for some accounts that are not so important. On December 2022, LastPass revealed that hackers had obtained extensive information from nearly 30 million of its users. This particular event made me rethink the whole thing, so I decided to host my own password manager in my own home network. What you're looking at right now is a Vault Warden in action. It is simple, easy to use, and better yet, it can be self-hosted on your home network and not in some third-party server. Vault Warden is the, an official Bitwarden compatible server. It was previously known as Bitwarden RS. It has been renamed to separate itself from the official Bitwarden server to avoid trademark issues. So in this video, I am going to show you how to self-host Vault Warden Password Manager on a Raspberry Pi. I'm going to do a step-by-step -step installation and how to use it. Now let's get started. On your Raspberry Pi, open up terminal and do an update and an upgrade. This may take a while depending on the last time you performed an upgrade. Once done, I will go ahead and reboot. Next, I'm going to install Docker and Portainer. So I'm going to start with Docker. Keep in mind that the user will be different for you. This is my username. Yours may be different. A reboot will be required here, so I'm going to do that. Once again, I'm going to update and upgrade. Now I'm going to install Portainer. All these commands will be in the video description. You can simply copy and paste them into your terminal. To move forward, you need to know the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Mine here is 192.168.12.193. I know that the port number for Portainer is 9000. As you can see here, Portainer is up and running. Next, I'm going to install Vault Warden. Note that this is Vault Warden, not Bitwarden RS. If you happen to install Bitwarden RS, you will get an older version which will not work with your Bitwarden browser extension. Now, if we flip back to Portainer, we should see that Vault Warden is installed in port 8080. We can check and see if it is up and running. So yes, it is indeed. If you made it this far, you are halfway there, but just not there yet. We still have two things to do. Vault Warden will not allow you to create an account over a non-secure page. As you can see, this is not possible here. But luckily, there is an easy way to do that. So the first thing we will need to do is get a domain name. If you don't have one already, it's time to get one. The best place to get a domain name is from Google Domains. For the sake of this video, I am going to use a domain name that I usually use for training. And the last thing we need to do to get started is to establish a secure tunnel to Bitwarden. So I will be using Cloudflare. So I'll sign up, create an account and log in. And I will go to my email and verify my account. Once that is complete, I'm going to click on add site and I'm going to add my website, storemyguest.com. Click on add site, find the free option on Cloudflare, select it and click continue. Continue again and look for Cloudflare name servers. I am going to copy these name servers and go to Google domains where I registered the website. Click on manage, look for DNS, custom name servers and manage servers. And I'm going to paste the name servers here. Save, but don't forget to click on switch to these settings. Otherwise, your name servers will not be updated. Cloudflare will tell you that it may take up to 24 hours, but I have done this many times and it only took 5 to 15 minutes maximum. You will get an email notification when the domain name is added to Cloudflare. Now that my domain is active, I am going to go to Cloudflare, click on Access, Control User Access to Application, Enable Access, and next, enter a team name. You can put any name that you prefer. 
once again I'm going to select the free plan you will be asked to enter payment information but there is nothing to pay it is zero dollars for some reason I get sent back to the previous screen after I entered my payment information if that happens to you simply ignore this page and log back into Cloudflare so here I'm going to click on my site go to access launch zero trust access tunnels and create a tunnel name it whatever you like because I'm using docker in my raspberry pi I'm going to choose docker I'm going to copy this command open terminal and paste it in it and I'm going to make a small modification to the command to make it run in the background So as you can see, my connector status says connected and it's green. That means that I'm good to go. My subdomain for this application is going to be Bitwarden and then followed by the domain name. And their service type, I will select HTTP and the LAN IP address of my Raspberry Pi. Again, yours may be different. Followed by port 8080. Now that all that is done, I am going to save tunnel and check the status. It is saying healthy, so let's check it out now and see if I can access my Vault Warden using my domain name and if I can create an account. It looks like I can and I have a secure connection. There are only a few more things that I need to do. One of them is adding an admin GUI and to prevent anyone else from creating an account in my Vault Warden server. To do this, I'm going back to Portainer stop vault warden click on edit and go down to environment and add two variables one of the variables is going to be admin underscore token and here i need a token too easy let's fire up terminal again and generate a random token by typing in this command copy it and paste it in front of admin token Next, I'm going to add a variable to prevent users from creating new accounts in my Vault Warden server. While I'm here, I'm going to make sure to click on Restart Policy and set it to Always Restart. This will restart Vault Warden automatically when the Raspberry Pi restarts. Click on Deploy Container and Replace. Now, let's go ahead and see if I can create a new account. And of course, as expected, I should not be able to do that. As far as the admin GUI, this is optional. I just want to share this with you. Most of this was already created in variables, but I just want you to know that you can make changes and updates here as well. I am not going to explain what all this does, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out or comment with any questions. Now let's put all this to work and download Bitwarden browser extension. Before signing in, make sure you click on settings and add your domain name. I am using Portainer as an example, but you can do the same with any website that you want to access through Vault Warden. So here I went ahead and opened my Portainer page and clicked on Bitwarden browser extension. I am going to click add login. Name is going to be Portainer. My username is admin and I'm going to put in a password and save everything. Now, as soon as I click on Portainer account, it will autofill the username and password. If you want to set Vault Warden in your smartphone, the process is also simple. I am using an Android phone in this scenario. The same method applies here. You need to add your domain name in the settings and login. Go to settings at the bottom and tap autofill. Make sure that autofill is on for Bitwarden. Same for use accessibility for Bitwarden. As you can see here, when I try to access Portainer, it is prompting me to autofill with Bitwarden credentials in my vault. Last but not least, and this is something that I forgot earlier, you want to make sure that your Raspberry Pi connects to your Cloudflare tunnel when the Raspberry Pi restarts. So make sure you come here, stop it. If it's running, click on edit and go to restart policy 
and set it to always as we did before. Deploy container and replace. You should be all set. I hope this was helpful. As I said, if you run into any issues, feel free to reach out to me. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. As always, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.